what is the sign for the black flag army? There are some who dispute the status of the hadith, saying it is weak. But the evidence is clear that only one part of the world of Islam has escaped from being colonized and westernized. In people, people in Afghanistan don't wear black jackets and ties. <laughs> uh -huh. No. The people of Afghanistan wear their own native clothing. And they keep the beard. Washington has not been successful in getting the Afghan to shave off his beard. Except of course Karzai. So, so that part of the world has not been colonized. No. And it is that part of the world which has successfully resisted British aggression a hundred years ago. Successfully resisted the Soviet Union, which invaded Afghanistan for 12 years and was defeated. And has successfully resisted NATO for the last 10 years. The mightiest military force in the world. So don't look down your nose on the people of Afghanistan. No. They have done what nobody else has been able to do in the world of Islam. That is the part of the world from which the army is going to come that is symbolized by the black flags. We mean by black flags, we mean the authentic Islamic resistance to oppression in Khorasan. That is the black flags. Don't seek to box it in into some kind of a sectarian context. No. All those in Afghanistan who are struggling sincerely in Allah's name to remove the oppressor belong to the authentic Islamic resistance. That jihad has already started, the black flags. It has already started. We don't need any fatwa. And no one, no one, no one can stop it. Not Obama, not Romney, no one can stop that jihad. Until eventually, maybe 10, 20 years from now, it liberates every territory in a straight line until it reaches Elia. Well, Jerusalem is not in the Quran, no. Baitul Maqdis is our word in Arabic, not Jerusalem. And Elia is a Roman word. So that army will liberate Jerusalem. And at that time it won't be any peace talks in Madrid or peace talks in Detroit. He, he said, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, latuqatilunna al-Yahud, you'll most certainly fight the Jews. Walatakatilunna hum and you'll most certainly defeat them. This is Sahih Bukhari. At that time even the stones will speak. Ya Muslim, there's a Jew hiding behind me. Not all Jews, that's lazy scholarship. Not all Jews. Only Jews, those who are oppressors. Because they are Jews who are standing with us, side by side with us. There's one who called me on Skype from London. Three times already, a Jew to interview me, okay, on Skype. There's a Jew hiding behind me, so come and kill him, talking about the Jews who are oppressors.